Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. I don't normally do just soul replay videos anymore, but you know what? This one came to me from a very good friend of mine, Wincher. Guy I used to tune with and stream with, actually. So you need to go and check out his YouTube channel. The link is below. And I, it was jaw-dropping. So I just had to show it because, you know, when it comes to OP replays, this is an OP replay. Now the chances are some of the YouTuber has already showcased this. But you know what? Winch is a friend. So then he kindly sent me the replay. And when I went through it, I was like, wow. I admit he gets a little bit lucky um, in certain respects. But you just, you, you know, the way he plays the tank is pretty, pretty darn decent. Now the thing about OP replays, especially games like this, you need to have a little bit of luck on your side. That doesn't mean to say you don't need to have any skill. Of course you need skill. And the skill side comes in with knowing where to hit, knowing where to put your tank, knowing how to angle your tank, etc, etc. So don't just discount this as he gets a lot of luck. He does get a bit of luck, I agree, but he still has to play his socks off in this game. Now the 60 TP at the moment is meta. Um, you see some of the top clans taking it out in the tournaments. Why? Well, because it is a very strong tank. It's not OP and it's not broken. Um, anybody who's seen the CIS tournament for the Blitz Cup and it's 15 plus ammo racks will know damn well this tank is not broken or OP. But it is an incredibly strong heavy, especially in the hands of those who now to play it. It has got very, very good frontal armor. It's got a pretty decent gun. Okay, it's, the DPM isn't the best. It's, it's a pretty long reload, but it is knocking out a damn sight load of damage, to be honest with you. I mean, it's E100 type damage, but it's not an E100 type profile. And that's the thing. I mean, the profile of this tank is spectacular, armor-wise. It hasn't got those those side cheeks. And we'll watch this for a shot. I mean, what a shot that is! And the one two one B, by the way, is is played particularly well. But that was just a beautiful snapshot. And this is what I mean by you know that's not look, that is skill. His teammate there goes rushing in and gets absolutely punished. And look at this. He just waits for it. The reticle to come down puts a great shot into the top hatch of that E75. Now he's already at just shy of 5,000 damage. He's already bounced 1,600. He got uh, he got a bit of a smacking from the Death Star on the other team. This one, unfortunately, I don't think is going to go through. No, he gets a bounce there. The E75, by the way, nowadays is rock solid. And if you haven't played the E75 for a long time, then my, I, I recommend you certainly get out there. You can see that he's, his team is being whittled down quite substantially here, another bounce on the E75. It really is a tricky tank to pen nowadays. But the E75 here is just focused on the tank in front of him, and why not, because it is a low hit point tank. Unfortunately, he misses out there, because the other side's E75 is equally as good, armor-wise, that is. Wincher here is, well, you know, he's lost just under half his hit points. He's still got four tanks out there, four pretty tricky tanks, in fact. And there's one of them, that's the Death Star. The E75 here, well, he's using him as a meat shield. That was more the E75's fault than it was Wincher's fault. Wincher was going in that direction. Don't know why the E75 was, was reversing. If it was to protect Wincher, then that is a beautiful move by that player. Um, Realising that he was a one-shot, he wasn't going to last long in the game. And that it was much better to keep the 60 TP alive. Wincher now is, wow, well, he's on a lot of damage here. Here comes the 121B again. I mean, the 121B has played pretty well. He, uh, he gets a bit lucky there, insofar as he doesn't uh, high roll and he's left on next to no hit points. Winch has got a bit of a longer reload than the 121B. The 121B, however, just sticks his nose out a little bit too far. And he doesn't realize that he stuck his nose out a little bit too far. And Wincher, being the player that he is, loading the HE there to get rid of the tank. This is where he gets a little bit of luck. The Emil that we saw at the start, that was rotating, that was pushing through, through that C-cap area, 
has gone AFK. And the IS-8, now, they're saying on the team that they're AFK. You'll see that the IS-8 is not AFK. He maybe was AFK, but he does come alive towards the end of the game. And the thing is, you, you see this a lot recently, where players are waiting for the enemy team to be whittled down so they can come in and sort of clean up. Doesn't work out, uh, always, and we'll see what happens. The Emil, however, is definitely AFK. Um, he wasn't AFK to begin with, so he's obviously given up the ghost. So that was easy damage there. Now we've got the IS-8, who is in their spawn, but as you can see, he is not AFK. He is moving. And not only is he moving, he is going to take out, I think, the 183, and he does. That's a bounce there by Wincher. Now, Wincher's on just over 7,700 damage. If he can take out the IS-8, then, boy, what a damage count this will be. The IS-8, as I said, seemed to be AFK for the majority of the game. But he's clearly not AFK now. But you can see he's not a fully experienced player. I mean, he's rushing up here. He has got all his hit points near his damn it. And he's going to rush up onto a 60 TP. I mean, it, it, it's not the best thing to do to face hook a 60 TP. Um, he's not trying to shoot him because he's looking where he can shoot him. And it's very difficult to shoot that 60 TP. And this is what I mean. If you stay, you know, at the back and wait till the enemy team gets whittled down, it's not always going to end up in your advantage. Wincher now, 8,900. 9,000. Over 9,000 damage. I mean, that is a spectacular game. 9,265, 200,000 credits, kills five tanks, get a well-deserved mastery. I mean, that is just a super OP replay. Anyway, that's been Winchester's game. Like I said, go and check his YouTube channel out. And until the next time, guys, look forward to your comments. So stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. That's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.